and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this quick episode, I'd like to just briefly walk you through how you connect customer insights to Dynamics to export your segments, either to marketing or sales, or going the other direction, how do you use the customer card add-in? So for those of you that aren't familiar, um, here on the exports page, we can export to Dynamics Marketing, as you see here on the right, or Sales Hub or Sales, and those all can be set up to export your information to Dynamics now, Customer Insights also has a Customer Insights card um, add-in for Dynamics, which you can get from the App Source. And this allows you to embed your Customer Insights information into your contact cards within Dynamics. So here you can see I see my CI timeline. I've got my KPIs coming over as well as some demographics, and there are other cards available as well. But there's a little bit that you need to know in, in order to get this set up. So let me walk you through um, what this looks like. So in Dynamics, we have a bunch of contacts. Uh, in Customer Insights, we've already set up these different data sources. We have a point of sale, e-commerce, ERP, and so on. And we've gone through unification, and we have our customer table down here at the bottom where we have our GUID that Customer Insights assigns to the unique profile, as well as the contact IDs or the, the keys from each of the tables that we brought in. Over on the dynamic side, we have our contacts, and each of those has a unique GUID that is assigned to them in Dynamics. So to get started, we first need to create a new data source on the Customer Insights side. So we create a D365 data source. And then we need to connect and ingest those contacts out of Dynamics. So we make our connection, we bring those in, and we have them now in our D365 data source. So of course, we need to go through unification and unification will go through, and in the end, we'll end up with our new customer table, which will have that same GUID, that customer ID, uh, customer insights assigns. But we'll also have this contact ID that came over from Dynamics 365, and that will be that GUID that is over in Dynamics. So the next step is setting up our two processes that we want to look at. So to set up customer card add-in from Customer Insights, there's a configuration screen that you have to walk through. And once you've logged in with your credentials, you see here that there is a field that says Dynamics 365 Contact ID field. And that is where we want to put the GUID. We want, we want that to be that GUID. So in that drop-down list, you're going to look for something like this, System Customer, and then the name of the data source, D365 in this case, and then Contacts, the table that we brought in, and then Contact ID, that field that contains the GUID that came in from Dynamics, because what we want here is we want the fields to match. We need to tell it, this is the field that matches the ID field that I have in Dynamics so that I can connect those users together in order for the card to show up. Then lastly, how do you get that export set up? So in the export setup, you again give it a name, you give it your address to your Dynamics instance, and then it's going to ask you again for this ID field, and here it's asking you, what is the field that I have in Customer Insights that matches the primary key, the contact ID field, in Dynamics 365? So again, we're going to point at this field that got created. The D365 contacts is the data source and the table name, and then the contact ID is the field name that stores the GUID that we ingested from Dynamics 365. So once you've had that set up, then you'll be able to do your exports and you'll have the ability to go into your marketing instance and then look at your segments um, right here and see that we have our segments exported from Customer Insights and into Dynamics. So that's just a quick walkthrough of how you set up the connection between Customer Insights and Dynamics 365 for viewing the contact card add-ins or being able to export your segments. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in again for the next ones.